this tree. Okay, so first things first. Um, this tree. Well, with the word match. Take those down. I need a door. I think Ewoks would use doors. Tiny doors, but doors all the same. So we got a door. Now I need to make an opening for the door. Not an ideal spot for a door. Much better. Okay. And seeing as we're going to go to this tree next, how do I want to build it? Um, ask why I'm making this platform uh, three wide and I have method to my madness. Believe you me. Hmm. Wow, that night went really quick. Um, jump down here. It's so scary sounding. It's like worse than the worse than the nether videos. Uh, I don't know if wool's affected by gravity. Haha, <laughs> it isn't. That is excellent. Alright. And one, two, three. Alright. My poor little tree is not growing. I'm sure it has to do with space around it or something. Because it clearly got room above it. It's on dirt. I don't know. Someone will tell me. You guys always do. As you can tell, I am far from a green thumb. Alright. So, next. Head down to this tree. I've also found that it helps if you can lure the monsters out into the sun. Because the skeletons and zombies hide under the tree and it don't catch on fire. There's one. There we go. Sorry guys, you gonna burn. Haha, <laughs> the sheep's even taunting them. Okay. So I've been debating about whether I want to put a roof. On. Hmm. It's not very Ewoky though. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments whether Ewok city building should have roofs or not. Okay. Uh, what did I got? I had something on my to do list, but I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Oh, yeah. Trying to find a spider. Thought I heard a skeleton. Did. Totally hear a skeleton. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Apparently, I jumped down into Creeper Haven. Gunpowder. Always nice. Stupid. There he is. Hiding in the shade, eh? Out you go. It's a sunlight party. He's still in the shade. Apparently, that skeleton has like SPF. 5,000 sunscreen. 
Saddest sound ever. Now, apparently, you have five minutes, roughly, to get back to your corpse before your items disappear. Thankfully, I know where I died this time. And I've become very good at this run. Which is likely a bad thing. But, the lesson learned here is that I really need a bow. I really need to stay in the friggin' trees. And then we won't have any of these problems. Can be the Robin Hood of the Ewoks. The one cool thing with this walk is I do get to show you the cool view. My tree grew. You can see it. It's totally my tree growing out of the shelter. Treetop refuge Ewok City. Oh, that's awesome. Apparently I did plant the tree properly, and it was just a slow-growing tree. Alright. There we go, now I'm inspired. I may die, but at least I can grow a tree. Oh, cows. You guys will have your time. Alright. Sorry about the choppiness, guys. I am uploading uh, episode 2 right now. This is episode 3, I think. It's kind of hard to keep it all straight, but... In any case, I'm uploading a video and playing at the same time, so... The computer is not happy with me. gather up these arrows so that when I actually do get a bow, I have some ammunition and don't have to mess around finding flint and everything. Let's look for a crater. Another arrow. Another. Freaking arrows all over the place. Oh, there we go. Man, stuff went all over the place. Okay. So, not exactly how I had planned on uh, starting off the day, but I guess nothing major was done. No major harm was done. I got my stuff back. Found some cows. Get my full oh, this frame rate, stop it! Oh cow. Not even the frame rate can save you. So I'm gonna head over. You know, I 